This video is sponsored by Ren. Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Remember the video where I talked about a racist gotcha YouTuber that faked their own passing and blamed it on me? Well, I have an update to that situation and it's pretty wild. I know I said I wouldn't talk about this anymore, but psych! psych! <laughs> Too many outlandish things have happened after my initial video came out that I absolutely feel obligated to give you guys an update. I never thought this story would get crazier than me getting haunted by a racist ghost, but apparently it did so buckle up and get ready to hear all about it. Before we take a look at this dumpster fire though, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, Ren. Climate change is getting out of control with NFTs heating up the planet while wasting precious resources to insane amounts of ice melting in the South Pole. Now more than ever, we need to do our part in protecting the environment, which is why using REN has been the best thing that I ever did. REN is a carbon offsetting program where you can sign up for monthly subscriptions in order to support different offsetting projects. The concept of carbon offsetting is basically investing in environmental projects so you you can balance out or reduce your carbon footprint. The projects include protecting the Amazon rainforest, planting new trees, supporting farmers, to helping create clean air with zero emissions. I for example traveled recently to South Korea and back, and from that alone, my carbon footprint skyrocketed and equated to me cutting down 12 trees. This I found out on Ren's website where you can calculate your own carbon footprint by taking a simple quiz. So in order to neutralize my carbon footprint, I opted to support a project called Community Tree Planting, which pays East African farmers to plant trees while financially supporting them. This project alone has planted over 20 million trees, and I'm glad to be a part of it. Once you sign up to make a contribution to offset your carbon footprint, you receive monthly updates from the projects you support. REN is a simple and an effective way to make a difference in the climate crisis. The first 100 people to sign up using the link in the description will have 10 extra trees planted in their name. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description and offset your carbon footprint on REN. Thank you again REN for sponsoring this video. I want to give out a trigger warning for racism and not alive mentions, so please proceed with caution. I also want to ask that none of you guys harass or bully anyone mentioned in this video. I know it's easy to get riled up and angry at the person we are covering, but it's better and more productive to just drop your comment in this video and leave it at that. I need the comments for the algorithm anyway, so it works out great. And don't forget to like the video too while you're at it. Thank you in advance and let's just get into it. For those of you who don't know what I'm even talking about, I recommend you go and watch my first video on the situation. It's crazy and worth the watch, so I'll see you here after you've caught up on the lore. The link is in the description and the iCard above. For the rest of you who are either too lazy to do that or just need a short recap, I'll give you a quick rundown on what happened before getting into the aftermath of my video. Basically, there was a gacha YouTuber called Fizzybop that made videos calling me slurs while also spamming my comments and DMs with racist remarks. They targeted other black YouTubers too and pretty much made it their mission to be as edgy as possible on their short-lived career on YouTube. After I called them out on Twitter for their shenanigans, they couldn't take the backlash and posted multiple failed apology attempts before finally making their grand exit by faking their own passing. They then created a fake girlfriend account which they used to garner sympathy from the public, basically claiming that they were Fizzy Pop's grieving partner and that it was my fault that Fizzy had committed not alive. They tried their best to guilt trip me for something I had no part in, and when I called them out for their BS, they decided to send me an email from beyond the grave, yet again blaming me for their own passing. After all that, I decided to make a video about the situation because I found it too ridiculous not to. And and that brings us to the aftermath of that video. Basically, the first thing Fizzy did after I released my video was to release multiple responses to it while using the fake girlfriend alt account. The first response was pretty much summed up to, the n-word isn't a big deal, also I'm not Fizzy, I swear, believe me, wink wink, and ignore racism. <laughs> 
It was pretty underwhelming, but there was more. In the second response, the fake girlfriend showed their emails to prove that they weren't fizzy and that they didn't send the email from beyond the grave. But to me, that was pretty useless because they could have just deleted the email and no one would be none the wiser. Anyways, this fake girlfriend then made a last ditch effort to garner sympathy and attention by sharing their discord and asking people to join their server. Even though they claimed that they were grieving Fizzy's passing, but who cares, gotta use someone's fake death to promote this server I guess. As y'all can probably tell, I don't believe any of the nonsense Fizzy was spewing. It's clear to me that they were pretending to be deceased so they wouldn't have to take accountability for their disgusting actions. And of course, soon after they realized that the fake girlfriend ploy didn't work, Fizzy decided to take a different approach. On one random day, I started getting a sudden influx of new comments on my video, informing me that Fizzy Pop got hacked. I was confused by this information, so I went to investigate what the fuss was about. I saw the hacker had changed the name of Fizzy Pop's account and posted two videos, one of which was celebrating the hacking and the other one was them exposing Fizzy's watch history. As you could imagine, the comments were in support of this hacker and cheering them on, but you best believe I wasn't buying what they were selling. I can't believe I even have to say this, but the hacker was fizzy 100%. If someone gets hacked, most often than not, their channel would be changed to something completely different. If the hacker hated fizzy, they would have at least removed fizzy's old content, but they chose not to, and it's sus. I just find it highly unlikely that someone would waste their time hacking a random gacha YouTuber and not even do anything substantial with the account. I do want to clarify that I don't condone harassment, bullying or hacking of anyone, even Fizzy. And my followers know that and would never partake in behavior like that. So who else would do this other than Fizzy themselves? Like have we not learned from this person's pattern of behavior by now? When they couldn't take the backlash last time, they pretended to pass away in order to come back as the grieving significant other so they could get sympathy. And when that didn't work, you mean to tell me that they just suddenly got hacked at this very convenient moment? Yeah. I don't know about that. Unfortunately, many of y'all fell for this hacker story and started praising the hacker in the comments for doing a good job, when it's pretty clear to me that this was just Fizzy pretending to hack themselves. This is something Fizzy always does to wiggle away from taking any responsibility for their actions, so it doesn't surprise me at all. Anyways, I wasn't having any of it and didn't give them the time of day, and I just kept on pushing forward. Little did I know though that the situation would take another major turn that changed everything. Fizzy actually came back and confessed. Before Fizzy Pop decided to do their official comeback from hell, they were busy creating new alt accounts to use in order to harass me. In one of them, they faked a screenshot conversation with me and made a video complaining about this fake conversation taking place. What I found the funniest in that situation is the one commenter who fell for the video despite it obviously being fake. I still think about that poor commenter and their single brain cell to this day. They're in my prayers. They posted this video which, you know, they're not even trying at this point. I also started receiving emails that were obviously from Fizzy pretending to be a friend or a partner either throwing insults and slurs at me or just blatantly lying. I started getting increasingly more Twitter DMs from accounts that I think were also fizzy because why would you say something like this and expect me not to put two and two together? Like you're just giving yourself away at this point but I digress. Fizzy was working overtime to get a reaction out of me and when they utterly failed they decided to put an end to their shenanigans and just come out with the truth. Fizzy made a video where they announced their official return from the grave. They got resurrected from hell and as fortunate as that is, at least I'm not being haunted by a racist ghost anymore. It's more of a racist zombie now I guess but you know, I'll take that over a ghost any day. Basically Fizzy just came out of the woodwork and admitted to faking their passing and that they decided to come back simply because they were bored pretending to be dead. You heard that right, they got bored pretending to be dead which is why they decided to come back. 
let that sink in. In their channel about me section, they wrote, The B is back, clearing ish up. Apologies were fake. I still hate black people. All black people I associated with were just to boost the idea that I had changed. Okay, um, so for all the people that gave Fizzy the benefit of the doubt, y'all should have just believed me when I laid out the facts. This person is so pathetic that after calling black creators slurs and getting backlash for it, instead of just apologizing and leaving it on that, they made multiple shitty excuses and after getting butthurt that people didn't forgive them, they faked committing not alive. They then created a fake account of a concerned partner and blamed me for Fizzy's passing. When all that didn't work, they pretended to get hacked. The amount of heaps and bounds this person jumped through just to get to this point is wild, but at least we know the truth now. Also, the undeniable proof of Fizzy being their girlfriend is right in front of y'all. Isn't it odd that Fizzy's grieving fake girlfriend used the exact same font as Fizzy did? They even talk the same, so like, y'all can't convince me that they're not the same person. Anyways, I'm getting whiplash from this roller coaster of a story, so I'll just wrap this all up in the last part of this video, which is my final thoughts. This story is like a soap opera playing in 4K. It has a death, resurrection, hacking, and a whole Joker arc. I could for real write a whole book about this if I cared enough, because it's that unbelievable. I know this all started from a racist hack, but I never expected it to evolve into whatever this video is. I think this is a good ending point to this saga, because I love being right, and you best believe I was right about everything I said in my previous video. Did I lie? There were some in my comments giving this person the benefit of the doubt, but y'all, now I get to say I told you so. Anyways, as crazy as this all has been, I think it's time for us to close this chapter for good, now that we've had a good laugh at it. Come here, pussy. Fuck Imagine how pathetic and disturbed someone has to be to create these elaborate lies just to continue to harass and bully someone. Like, let's not get it twisted. Fizzy attempted to manipulate me multiple times into feeling guilty for standing up for myself. They even manipulated my viewers in their comment sections and played up this victim persona when they've been alive and well this whole time, pretending to be dead only to get sympathy. Like, they're doing too much. Like, I'm telling you they're doing oh, way too much i'm glad i'm strong enough of a person to have seen through their bs but i'm sure some would have been gullible and just believed them it's wild to me how much of a loser this person truly is but at least i got a good video out of them so i don't consider this a total waste of my time and before someone chimes in and complains about me milking this situation i'm a messenger i saw this all taking place in front of me in 4k and rather than ignoring it i decided to make the best of it. Everyday black artists get targeted by trolls and weirdos online and everyone deals with those situations differently. I choose to point and laugh at trolls every now and then because it's more entertaining for me. As Beyonce likes to say, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. And y'all know how much I love lemonade. Does that make me kinda like a troll? I don't know, but if I want to talk about something that affects me directly, I will. Again, I'll reiterate that don't go out of your way to seek this person out. If you can help it, leave your comments in this video and leave it at that. That way you're directly supporting me and my channel, and I appreciate that. Before I go, I want to thank my patrons and channel members for being the real MVPs and always supporting my channel. Thank you to Alien, Kuroi Hana, Saint Raya, Black Wolf 275, Split Into Two, Harriet Rose, Lady Kimono, Galaxy Brain, Romad, Noah Smashy Smash, Emmy, Ghost Girl V, Ash Wetzel, Lil RC Savage, The Opinion Queen, Nat, Diana Rosages, Tamisha Walker, Tenjimon, Seiji Hito, Life on Mars, Hat, Salem Smith, JJ, Adam Quentin Kali, Ghoul Ranger, Isabella, Min McLon, and Glitchy Garbage. Thank you all so so much and I love all of you. If you want to directly support me too, consider becoming a channel member or a patron. What do you think of all this? Was I too harsh? How would you have reacted in this situation? Let me know in the comments. 
Bye!